Lily here. So I recently visited my old school to talk to some year seven and eight pupils about science and engineering and STEM and their perceptions of it all and if they saw any links to STEM in their future lives and their responses were quite interesting. I asked them to write all their thoughts down on pieces of paper so here's my pile and I'll share them with you. Lots said that they thought an engineer would be a man with greasy hands wearing overalls and a hard hat. So pretty much just a mechanic. So I think the main misconception really is with what engineering actually is rather than whether it would be a woman or a man. If they realised, as I explain things, that maybe an engineer isn't just a mechanic, then they started to think that, oh yeah, well maybe a woman would be just as equal, just as likely to be involved in technology or science as a man would. Strong man. Strong muscly man. A dirty strong man. Again. Someone who fixes planes. I imagine a man covered in oil and grease. A rough man or a woman that's strong. Dylan thinks there will be either gender. Dylan, we like your thoughts. The strong part, that I think that suggests that they think of engineering as a physical job, which in, obviously in some cases it is, in a lot of cases it is, but it's really not always physical. A lot of the stuff would be far more, I don't know what the word is, but not physical. <laughs> Karina says, geeky, brainy and clever. A crazy person. Creative, hardworking and very excitable. A scientist could be a boy or a girl and I think scientists are really clever and interesting people. To quote Grace, I think girls could be an engineer because girls can do it. I quite like how lots have said that it would be a manual job but also lots have said that you would need to be really clever so they think that whilst it might be manual, it definitely involves a lot of brains. I also asked what would make them more interested in science and STEM and engineering. Pretty much everybody said that more practicals, more trips and more hands-on science would get them more interested. Experiments with fire. Lots of people in the class that I spoke to found astronomy the most exciting part of physics, which I totally would have agreed with at their age. So many boys said they wanted to be a games designer. I don't know why boys, because Apparently like nearly half of young gamers are girls, but that seemed to be the case that so many boys wanted to be games designers. As soon as I mentioned that a games designer would come under STEM, they were all like, oh yeah, I want to do that. And I didn't think any girls responded in the same way, which is interesting really. What's most interesting and is it hard to keep technology secret? Does it feel good to be a scientist to girls and boys? Question, are males better at science than females? Please let us know in the comments what you would have answered age 11, 12 or 13 and thank you for watching.